Hi, this is Dave with the Arctic Curly Creations. Today we're going to try a second attempt at a, a, a style that I saw Sheely do about a week ago now involving a comb through with a color. Now the success on this is better than it was last time I think, uh, but I'm going to let you judge for this. Our colors for today are going to be from top to bottom is going to be Ore by This Little Piggy, Nickel Azo Yellow by Golden, Kronekonome Nickel Azo Gold by Golden, Firefly by uh, Color Art Primary Elements, Bronze by Fire Dots, Brulee by This Little Piggy, and Ball Gown by This Little Piggy. The last two are interference colors and in the right light, the brulee turns into a, either it's a bronze or copper. Um, I haven't decided yet, but it's a beautiful color. And the ball gown is an interference gold. So uh, they look white when they're going down, but in the right light, they're beautiful. So uh, my opinion on this piece, uh, I will share with you at the end. Uh, and I hope that if you haven't already done so, if you could subscribe and uh, ring the bell for notifications of future videos that I'll put out. Uh, and as always, stick around to the end so you can see the final product. Okay, I'm going to pick up my tool. This is a pick that I got off of Amazon. Uh, I'm hoping that the tines are close, are far enough apart and be able to get that this the look that I'm looking for. I'm just swiping it through the uh, pillow paint. And this pillow paint is PPG Multi Pro. It's my go to, it's what I always use. Uh, there are several types of paint you can use for this, and they're all house paints. Okay, now I'm going to take the second swipe and put it right below that one. And all I'm trying to do is create a background for the painting to sit on top of. Okay, I've loaded up my, uh, my scraping tool. Uh, and I'm going to create my swipe. This, as far as I'm concerned, is possibly where I made my first my first uh, error in judgment on how to put this together. But I'm going to again. I'm going to not talk too much about that and let you judge at the end. Now, if you have any questions about what I do and how I put together any of my pouring mediums or uh, paints or pigments, uh, if you check out the 101 series, which should have just been above here, uh, or down in the description, you'll have uh, a link to a set of videos that I've done over time uh, that explains all of that. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm continuing to uh, swipe through and look at my composition, where it's going to stretch out to. I picked up my smallest uh, scoop and drag, my smallest tool, and I'm going to do a little bit of scooping and dragging. What happened is when I pulled up the last, the last um, uh, scoop and drag, I left myself a little stringer all the way across. It doesn't really much matter, but you know it, it did create a line there that I really didn't want. Live and learn, folks. That's what it's all about. And for me, painting is therapeutic. So. You know, the process is what really helps me. That's why I started painting in the first place. You see it's starting to spread out a little bit. And it brings me to the next uh, part that I just remembered till the end and I talk about it. It has kind of the, the colors of a of a uh, sunset, which so I'm uh, very happy about. The colors were, were, are, are beautiful together. And 
know, one of the things I, I think that I, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to break up that white section in the back, background or in the, that side. And I've kind of caused by a mistake that I made that I, I swiped by pull, uh, pulling out for the scoop and drag in that area. I, um, I actually pulled some white up and spread it across and it became this big old white swath. And you know, that's live and learn. I'll never do that again. Until the next time I do, of course. I'm checking for the how much paint there is on the canvas. And it was looking pretty good. I'm gonna pull the canvas back center. I had it off center to get the uh, the centrical centrifugal force to help me with the paint on that side to get it off on the off of the canvas. And it worked. Now what this creates, and you'll see in the flyover, uh, the lines in the back create a sense of depth and the, that swipe appears to float on top. And that's what I'm looking for, that texture. I'm gonna continue to play with this. I think we're getting pretty close to being able to go up and take a, a quick look, a uh, close look at for a flyover. But overall, I'm looking at this, one of my critiques, this is being self-critical, is that my uh, transfer swipe is too wide. I would have liked to have seen it a lot narrow, more narrow. And uh, although I got some really nice marbling and the cells stretched out beautifully, it's just the nitpicky for me is that I would have liked to have seen it much less. So that's it. That's my, my opinion. Thank you for being here today. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's absolutely free, and it really does help. It's my hope that you found this useful today and that you come back again soon. Thanks for being here. Bye now.